I wake up, flex, thumb down that check, no drip this way. Tell him run it. to the channel. If you enjoyed that intro, then you know what to do by now. And if you don't, it's just the like button. Um, obviously, if you're new to my channel, then really help me if you hit that subscribe button, so thank you very much. So in today's video, just delve into it before I get any comments or any bullshit or anything like, mm, caffeine, caffeine, caffeine. I wanna put a quick disclaimer out there that I'm not telling people to do this or to drink energy drinks for 24 hours. I actually wanna just debunk some myths, help people understand the energy drinks better and caffeine consumption better. And to tell you all, that you've been lied to. And that's the end of the video, guys. Hope you catch you in the next No, I'm just kidding. I think one of the big things that happens is that the media confuses people by putting things in to scare monger people about energy drinks and the consumption of caffeine, which gives these little guy a bad rep. I think the other thing that confuses a lot of people is like when they look at that nutrition information panel, it looks like something from GCSE science or chemistry. And a lot of people are like, well, you shouldn't be drinking chemicals, but water's a chemical, so chill out, bro. Like, just actually chill. The other thing is, when we look at it, obviously it's like a big list of different things which for a lot of people like won't understand. But if we look at the ingredient list or the, the nutritional information for like, I don't know, an apple or a piece of fruit, I'll try and find them, pick up on the screen, but it'll have a massive nutritional information just because something has a lot of ingredients or a lot of stuff on the nutritional information does not mean that it's bad for you. And the other thing that people's argument is, is, well, it's not natural or grow. But we look at the whole nature versus nature debate and for example, a, a, a bumblebee is, is, is classed as nature or natural. But I'm telling you right now, that is one of my biggest fears in life. And to be honest, I don't really want to be touched by a bumblebee. Generally because that stuff just fucking hurts. And not everything that comes from nature or natural is good for you. So as you guys know, I intermittent fast in the morning, so I won't tend to eat until about 12 o'clock. It's now 9.30 a.m. But there's no better time for an energy drink. And I'll generally, generally try not to eat anything at all. The only thing that gets people's back about the energy drinks is the whole sugar debate and obviously I'm drinking the zero sugar version so um and the other thing is people just need to chill on sugar a little bit. It's okay to have a bit of sugar in your diet as long as it is in moderation. Sugar is the devil, keto is life. And the other thing I don't really understand is where this whole notion of that sugar is as addictive as cocaine. Now I don't know what bars or clubs you've been to, but I've never seen people walking around doing little bags of sugar. Or rolling up a tenner and snorting a line of sherbet. I tell you what I've also never seen, I've never seen my nan putting a teaspoon of Charlie and a coffee before she gets up in the morning. Obviously the big one is the caffeine consumption and I can kind of vibe with that. The average caffeine allowance for an adult in the UK is 400 milligrams but that's going to be dependent on how heavy you are, how big you are. So the caffeine consumption in one of these rain cans and I'm going to be trying different cans throughout the day to give you my tipped up choice and the best energy drink and my favourite energy drink. That's 200 milligrams of caffeine in so for a lot of people it could be half consumption of their daily allowance. But I think the thing that annoys me is that everyone thinks caffeine's a bad thing. Caffeine's a great supplement. It can help with alertness, awakeness, recovery and also fat burn because obviously it's going to help you move more because you're going to be wired. Now obviously as usual I've been doing vast amount of research and digging deep into the archives on Google and I just want to have a look and show you guys some of the caffeine content of different drinks and how people demonize energy drinks when you're fucking with like three or four cups of coffee on a daily basis. Like I'll try and pull this chart up and put it on the screen that I'm scrolling through now. When we look at like very strong coffees and in, in milligrams in comparison to the ounces. Then Starbucks Grande coffee, 330 milligrams of caffeine, 200 milligrams of caffeine. So what you people who come on and shit like this thing bad for you. Yeah, what about when you're down the down the front looking back at Grande Starbucks coffee? Caribou brewed coffee. 305 milligrams of caffeine. Dunkin Donuts iced coffee, 197 milligrams of caffeine. So there's actually an energy drink called cocaine energy drink. I've never tried drinking cocaine, but don't knock it until you tried it. Bobux Nitro Cold Brew, 280 milligrams of caffeine. Bobux Plus Coffee Pods, so if you're a home coffee drinker, there's 260 milligrams of caffeine. It's not until we get way further down where we start coming to the Monsters, Rock Stars, and Rain Energy Drinks, which are around 200 milligrams. <laughs> Of coffee, of caffeine, sorry. That is one of the biggest indications. Like, people who kind of like knock people for drinking energy drinks at the end of the day are probably people who are trying to lose weight, who are trying to better the health and lifestyle, who are trying to make a difference. And then you've got people in the offices who are commenting on that. You've got a trick a happy coffee hand, and they're having like five, six cups of coffee per day, which could easily be getting up to like a gram of caffeine, which is a lot. I mean, I used to have like four of these a day, so that's getting up to like 800 milligrams of caffeine. Probably a little bit too much for me. I like to keep it maximum now about 600 milligrams, but I usually have like one or two of these a day. Maybe a coffee, maybe some 
Brilliant. So this one is the USM3XT, and these are my sponsor, so these are fucking awesome. This one is a pump product though, so it doesn't have loads of caffeine in. Uh, some of the ones have like 300 milligrams, it's got like just under 200, I think. And this is a pump product, a new fizzy cola bottle flavor, and this one's awesome. I usually use it when I'm training chest, like we're gonna do today. Because basically the pump products just help the nitric oxide and help blood to the muscle groups. Getting better mind muscle connection, get a better pump, and just look swole, which is what we want. So we'll probably have one. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked. Scoop of that today. I'm also just gonna take creatine. I'm gonna shut up before we go. Woo! We're gonna be training chest and tries today. So let's get into looking huge. So just about to shoot into the gym. Absolutely stimmed off a cake. LD's had some stims as well. What have you had? Uh, You feeling stimmed? Yeah. Yes. They got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems. I solve them. I run through the money. The pressure be calling. Left all my blessings. I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage. I'm going through something. That's why I ain't calling. Phone and progression is all that I wanted. The phone and affection. I summon and double. Cause they got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems. I solve them. I run through the money. The pressure be calling. Left all my blessings. I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage. I'm going through something. That's why I ain't calling. Phone and progression is all that I wanted. The phone and affection. I summon and. About nothing, why won't you go get you a dollar or something? Don't hang with a who line for nothing. I see that we different, you riding, I double my don't do discussions, don't bragging about hundreds. Don't go to your places, I know that they sunken. Don't call me your brother, I barely could trust you. I talked to a shorty, she bagging the bugging. And I'ma need all of my dollars on coping, so hand me the money, I did be the pot. I'ma give all of my people a portion to build them a fortune on flipping the rock. I can't be mixy when iffy the vibe. And 40 on 50 is really the time. Why is you all on my phone like you want me? Like you wasn't pushing the kick to the side, I don't know if you. Thick and I'm blind, cross on my crosses and doubt on my eyes Done with your efforts, I'm dealing with pressures I know it's a lesson, that's word of the wise Dubbing the mixes, I'm mixing, I know I've been missing I needed some personal time F*** all the pictures, the mentions, I go with your digits I mean it, I'm staying inside Hope you enjoyed that little pose down. That was current update. I am three weeks, two weeks, two and a half weeks into my cut at the moment, trying to drop a little bit of body fat. Don't know what I'm doing at the moment. What am I doing? That's another thing, that's, that's where caffeine helps as well because with energy drinks, it helps fill the void a little bit, it helps hit my satiety for the sweet. Obviously, the caffeine helps keep me full, keep me energized, keeps me talking nice and quick. But, has so little time, so much to do. We have so much time and so little to see. Wait a minute, strike that. Reverse it. I haven't actually got time to eat. I was just going to have for breakfast. Eggs, but I'm going to have your set, trust, crunch, protein bar. Instead, I'm going to take that on the road because I've got a haircut in. 20 minutes, I need to go and get another energy drink for Tesco. So we're going to have that and an energy drink. That's the other thing, by the way. I am not just drinking energy drink for 24 hours, not eating anything. But I usually have like eggs and some greens in the morning to get your protein high, carbs a little bit lower. But I'm just going to grab a protein bar and I will talk to you on the way to hairdressers. <laughs> Also, check out fresh new wheels. So just been to pick up a couple of cans, I'm going to dig into a Monster Energy Zero Sugar. Again with calories, these ones are like 15 calories for the whole can. I think a reason why a lot of people, um, especially in the fitness industry, like to consume these is because they're satiety whilst being very low in caloric intake. This one's actually my favourite one of the day. I will give a, um, what are they called? I'll put the caffeine of how much I've had at the moment. I don't really want to go over a gram today because that would be ridiculous. I do not wish to feel like a 16 year old after his first stripe. Mmm. That hits good. Also, just gonna dig into a protein bar because I'm gonna barb in like 15 minutes. Mm. 
triple chocolate flavour. It does bits. One of the other big things when it comes to energy drinks, and the one, number one things that gets a lot of hippies backed up is a little thing called aspartamine. So aspartamine is a artificial sweetener that is used in a lot of energy drinks, diet drinks, something fine in like sweeteners at coffee shops to sweeten things. And aspartamine, I think it is 200 times sweeter than a sugar, which is why you only need a tiny, tiny amount of it. And obviously it's got like no calories in which is why it's so popular and anything that's sweet and zero calorie in my bro is an absolute winner now i'm not too sure where the link between aspartamine came from and why people got the backs up about it but there's a, a quote from the i think it's the uh, american cancer society that's shown with evidence from studies that there's no link between aspartamine and an increase in cancer which i think one of the big ones are like you're gonna grow an extra toe you're gonna, you're gonna grow bigger ears i'm already there anyway but yeah there's no there's no increased risk of cancer so please consume away. There's also no published evidence or research so that you should be worried about the consumption of aspartamine. But that's your main issue with like energy drinks or diet drinks, the, the artificial sweeteners. There's actually no evidence to show that it's detrimental to your health or it's going to cause cancer. Of course, if you already have pre- existing conditions there, maybe get something checked out. Also, the FDA, which is a food drug food drug agency? Food and drug. Food and drug something. Actually advise you can have a healthy dose of aspartamine would be 50 milligrams per kilogram of body weight. So for me, I would be allowed to healthfully have around 21 to 23 cans of diet drinks per day be a healthy limit. And that would be per day every single day of my living life. So if you think that you're having like one, two, three cans a day, you're way below the recommended limit. So unless you're going through multi-packs a day and being an absolute progen and pissing like a racehorse, you're generally going to be okay. Below stims. The other thing I've actually just done is I have curbed my wheel. Do you know, like when you do something in life and, like for example, you drop your phone and you don't want to look down the floor to see it's cracked? It was like that time to my car will never be the same again. But I'm going to chug this back, I'm going to finish my bar, and I'll catch you for a fresh fade. Not just my barbers in Manchester, Nathan, you just met there, what a guy. And this is the, you know, the spray they put on you after you've had your haircut to make yourself like, smell like Bob on. Oh, that smells fresh. Oh, it there. Also, also picked up a couple of my favorite energy drinks as well from the shop as you saw before. Picked up a LucasAid, don't always have the LucasAid Zero. Caffeine content, I don't think it's high in this. I don't even know what the caffeine content is, I'll have to Google it. I just know it's not as high as it is. Picked up the gold standard on energy drinks, obviously being a Red Bull sugar free. I think caffeine content in this is about 150 milligrams. My memory serves correct. Uh, and then we've also got um, USN, this is a BCA drink. Uh, with aminos, but also has energy and caffeine in it. 106 milligrams of caffeine, so not as high as in a small can. So again, not as concentrated with the milligrams of caffeine, but so not as much. So one of the other key ingredients within any drinks is B vitamins, B vitamins, depending on where you're from. To be honest, they don't really do a lot because there isn't enough in there to really have any impact or any benefit or any side effect. And they don't offer any stimulants or energy, which is what we're looking for from an energy drink. <laughs> then I'm gonna go with the Red Bull. The other thing that does have in, any drinks do have them in, l -carnitine. Now, l -carnitine has some good properties to it. It actually helps to increase your sperm count. And I'm all about more volume when I'm shooting the loads, so I'm down for that. I'm actually gonna go for the Red Bull. One. I don't think there's that much caffeine in it and I've had a lot of caffeine today. I'll pop the milligrams up at the moment. Again, quick disclaimer, I advise people to do this. I'm just doing a little bit of a test. But not, it's not even really a test. I just want to kind of drink a lot of caffeine because I enjoy it. I'm dieting. I want to debunk some this. But the other thing, it would not be a diet drink video if we did not do this. I wake up. Yeah. I wake up. Flex. Thumb down that check. No drip this. What? Put it in and shake it. What do you mean? It's done what? Well, I'm afraid they're gonna come up with do that. Dude, this is a YouTube, I fucking found it. It's gone, Anna. Because it's gone. Yeah. Well, there. Brown bread. Well, you get the picture. Maybe you need a big exercise. Let them do it properly. 
And that was the erectile dysfunctional version of the Mentos and Coke trick. I'm not actually going to drink any more energy drinks now because I've had like 800 milligrams of caffeine today. I actually don't feel too bad. I don't feel like I'm drinking a lot of caffeine, do you? I have a lot of coffee. She has a lot of coffee. So there you go again. You probably had like not that much less than me. How many cups of coffee you had? But, but mine are like this big. I had a proof. You, again, you probably had about 600 milligrams of caffeine. But people will think that I don't usually use, use have one big one and one decaf, but I was dying today. You know? Obviously, that today as well, I'm supposed to have some yogurt. So, there's, no, there's nothing wrong with the individual ingredients that are within energy drinks. You will be okay with the consumption of them. Depend on who you are. It's going to depend on your tolerance. So, if you are Mrs. Old, Mrs. Miggins, she's going to have a lower um, tolerance. Killer is in the quantity, not the consumption. But I can imagine some of the dicks will be in the comments saying, mm, energy drinks are better for you. So I can imagine those people who are in the comments are the people who are tanking more cans of Fosters than I'm having Monsters per week. Can you drive a car after you've had a couple of cans of Fosters? Can you, can you drive it after a few cans of Monster? You can try. But I'm going to wrap this one up here. I feel like it's been quite... Oh, you... On the fucking scales on. This is an OCD. Anonymous, yeah. If you enjoyed it, if you got anything from it, Please drop a like if you're feeling, what are you feeling? Generous. If you're feeling generous, please hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my future videos. And I'll see you in the next one.